Hey guys, it's Juice to 5000. Got the uh, yellow parts on the 110 painted up, as well as my uh, custom made air compressor. Um, got the four rims over here, got the seat pan, I got uh, the pulley for the air compressor. This is the actual air compressor. Um, here's the uh, guard I made for the belt, and there's the air tank frame assembly I made. Um, looks pretty good. Nice and shiny. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show you these parts. And uh, I actually got my valve for the tank. Uh, this is the valve here. Uh, this end goes in the tank. This end is where the air inlet would be, or this end. I'm probably going to flop these two, put the plug up top, and then uh, put the inlet here. Um, this is the muffler right here with the little mesh in it. And this end is for the throttle cable, which is over there. Um, I'll probably end up plugging this. I won't need this for uh, what I'm doing with it. And uh, this valve here is, I think, I believe it's some kind of check valve or a release valve for uh, pumping air and not pumping air. Um, and you got to flip it up to release the pressure, I believe, so you can start the engine and you flip it down when you want it to pump. Um, I'll have to be figuring that out once I get that valve on. But uh, I got to get the rest of this together first. And uh, I got my copper coil, kind of, sort of, where I want it. Um, trying to position it so that the, when the pulley is spinning, it, it's moving air. It'll push the air back because it cools the fins, so it might kind of cool the copper at the same shot. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to have to bend this a little bit to uh, get it to fit the air tank and so on. But uh, that works pretty good with this little bender here. Um, so it should look good. I'll uh, have to get another video once I get all this back together. So, um, anyway, I'll uh, get a video once I get the 110 back together. It's uh, kind of just sitting on the floor, but it's the way it goes. So, uh, alright guys, stay tuned for another video, and we'll see you later.